Hi, my name is Leilani, and today I want to share with you a side-by-side -side view of Apologia's Zoology 3 curriculum from their Exploring Creations series, which they have been updating them for a couple years now, and it's really exciting that they've actually finished up their Zoology Exploring Creations series, and I'm going to do a flip through for you. The updates for all of them have been pretty similar. There's a lot more activities, a lot more pictures, color. I'm also going to go through the journal because I also have those journals right here. <laughs> so I'm going to do a side-by-side -side comparison of Zoology 3 second edition and then their first edition to find out if it's really worth it to make the upgrade. You'll find out. You have to watch the video to find out. Let's go ahead and I'll give you a peek. The first thing I want to note between these two books is that first of all all of the new books are going to have a certain kind of look, a very updated look as opposed to this one. This one, of course, has a child on it. And each of the children kind of correlate with the age of what the book is kind of geared toward. Even though you can actually use this book for any age, you can do modifications, add labs, etc. But um, it gives you kind of a visual of the age range. Now, this is Land Animals of the Sixth Day, and it says so right at the front of the book, second edition. This one doesn't say Land Animals of the Sixth Day. It just says Exploring Creation. So as you can see right off the back, definitely you see the update. Next, I want to let you see what the table of contents looks like. So this is the older version, and then this right here is the newer version. They're going to have approximately the, the same stuff that they're going over. Uh, one thing I did notice between these two books is that there's definitely more activities in the newer version, and let me show you. Another thing that I like about the updated one is they actually have this little wheel, this visual right here with dates of creation. So it tells you right off the back that this is a six-day creation curriculum. This is not into evolution. This is just look day one, day two, day three, and it gives you the visual to kind of help you and your child understand exactly what the six day creation actually is. Then here is, I also like this too, right? There's a little prayer in here that helps get you motivated. I actually will use this in the classroom with my students. Randomly, I will split it up between the days when I pray for my kids. Um, but yeah. I think this is great. They don't have this one and the other one. All right, so let's look at lesson one, which is the introduction to the animals of day six, which is the same exact thing stated over here. But this has a nice little introductory page. We love pictures. We're very visual people, right? So here we go with lesson one. What I do love about the updated version is you're going to find these little blue boxes throughout. So here's one. Let's see if we can find you another one. Here's another one. This is actually in lesson two. And you know what I like about these blue boxes is they're going to give you an overview of what this chapter is talking from a creation perspective. So okay I'm just going to show you lesson three what it says. In the account of Job God reminds us of his immense power by pointing out that even the constellation in heaven were put there by him. So then as you go down, you're going to find a scripture verse that kind of references actual creation. So grounded in truth. Now, if it so happens that there is someone who is not a Christian reading this, this is one of those things that they may want to skip. And it does so happen that there are people that are not Christian that do this curriculum because it is so comprehensive and so detailed but they do want to skip out on these. So just kind of keep that in mind as you go through. Yes, there is references to our creator throughout the curriculum, but um, this one is very specific in finding new scripture verses. Okay, so let's go back to lesson one. Obviously, you can see the difference. Uh, Color-coded, you have scripture verses in red. This side, they're just in the middle, and it's in black. And it's the same scripture verse, and it's basically almost the same dialogue. And here you come across activity one right off the back, which is a drive-through animal atlas. And it's actually list, it's actually written out for two pages. So you have activity one, and then you're going to come over here and have activity two. Look once again, beautiful. Activity three. And then there's a four right here, activity four, activity five, 
activity six, and the what do you remember questions. So actually both of these are gonna have the what do you remember questions and uh, they're duplicated in the journal, which I'm gonna show you in a second. But let's look over here at the lesson one, very big difference. I think, you know, if you can see right off the back, uh, definitely worth getting the upgrade. But I don't see any activities until you get to the end, you have a map it and a what do you remember. In fact, there's a track it, a notebook activity, and one experiment right here. That's it. That's all you have. I don't even see any, usually they label it as a try this. Yeah, I don't see any try this throughout the entire lesson one, just to track it, notebook activity, experiment, and then uh, the questions. That's it, and a map it. That's it. Definitely the newer version has lots more activities. Okay, but I do wanna show you the journals for lesson one. Here's the two journals. Obviously, you can see a huge difference in them right off the bat. This one now is in color which is something that, by the way, it has a suggested, which I thought was really cool, a suggested, people love those, it's in here. I thought this one was actually kind of cool. It's a creation confirmation bookmark, and I thought this was just really fun to help. I laminate mine. I've done that in the past with the kids where they can just write as they go, and then, and then we laminate it. We write, and then we laminate. Okay, so here's lesson one. Looking at this book, it's in black and white. Right, they have all the information in the beginning. This right here is your suggested schedule that you can follow, and then black and white, you write your name on it. Okay, so the older version has this thing where you just take notes, and that's great. If you, notes are great, I think it's a skill that we definitely need, and I love the fact that they always had pictures that you can draw in there as you go. And then they have the what do you remember questions, which are written out very nicely. They have a thing on animal careers in this one. And then they have a crossword puzzle and some copy work back here. They have a mini lesson and then they have some DVDs and book suggestions. They have a zoology project, a camouflage experiment, which was the experiment that went with the actual textbook. And then we move into lesson two. And the back of this book is where you get those little mini booklets. And so for example, this one, and these are the ones that are actually in color. So this was the creation confirmation miniature book right here. The instructions were right up here, how to do it. You cut it out, do the thing. So that's pretty much how this journal works. What's cool about this one now, just so much better. Um, you do have a coloring page, which I love, love, love this. You do have the notes, which once again, I love notes. I think they're great. If you can teach your kids notes, taking skills early, the early, in my opinion, the earlier, the better, even if it's just drawing or you actually writing the notes down and them dictating. I think that is a skill that needs to be honed in very early. So here's activity one in the book matches or in the journal and it matches with the book. So you don't have to pull out extra paper activity two, once again, in the book matches with what's in the journal. Then we get to activity three matches. You don't have to pull out extra paper now. It's all right here in the journal and it's in color and it's something new with the updated version. Activity five, now this is also something they did have in this book that they just duplicated the animal career story. A little bit different, but it's the same concept. concept. Activity six, same thing is true. This one actually matched the experiment that was in the original first edition right here. Then we have a vocabulary clock. This is new. And then the vocabulary clock mini book that you put it in. And then the what do you remember questions actually gives you lines to write the answers down. And of course this matches, this is just updated from what they have in the original text. And that's basically it. You have a creative page. Those kids that like to make scrapbooking page, journaling entries, that kind of stuff, you have a page for that, which a lot of our kids are very creative. They can write stories, they can take more notes. You know, I think that's great. And then you move into lesson two right there. I do love these coloring pages. I just, I cannot stress enough how much I love these. The other thing that's really great about these journals, and I'm gonna point out, this is a notebooking journal. This one, okay, they divided these up. They actually have a journal for the older kids and then one for the younger kids. So they actually had two different types of journals that you can purchase. For the updated version, you just have one journal, that's it. 
And I mean, that pretty much covers everything comparing these two books. You can obviously tell it's just so beautiful. And of course, oh yeah, just, I always like to point this out. There's a oh, bingo game. I do love that they have a bingo game for lesson 14 in here. Um, I do want to point this out though, that at the very back of the book is where you get answers. So parents, you know, rip them out and um, put them in a safe. This one did have a map it section. Now I do appreciate the map it section that this had where you would get a map and you would cut these guys out and put them on the map to find out where the animals lived and located. So I actually really liked this. They do have a map it section. It's a little bit different. They call it drive through animal atlas and the animals are bigger and um, you can practice your cutting skills with the animals instead of just squares. So yeah, I love it. I do actually up here have the Zoology 2 books and I, I did want to show you it's like the same kind of thing, right? You have the kid, a visual image, right? Updated, definitely, definitely updated. And I mean, I'm looking at it, it definitely is updated. I know, I've said that like five times. It's the same thing. Not as many activities. At the end of this one, at the end of the chapter, you do have one experiment with notebooking, ocean box, what do you remember, questions over here. And that's it. There's a try this. The try, try this in the older books, that's basically an activity of some kind. And in this book, the activities are then labeled as 2.0, 2.2, and so they're actually labeled and easier to find. I will say though in the journal what's really cool is like for example this one right here because this one says look at the animal pictures below decide whether and it, you know what kind of animal they are. In the notebook itself it has literally this in there and they can just circle. Thank you guys again for watching. Don't forget I have some links down in the description box if you're interested in purchasing Apology of Science for your homeschool curriculum. I also am going to stick a video right here because if you're watching this video obviously you're looking at science curriculum so this one right here just reviews a bunch of science curriculum that I've done in the past with my kids and at the home education instructional program and I love science and that gives you a really good overview of what's out there. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.